In this tech tip for Photoshop, I will demonstrate how to minus or pull back an image to compensate for dot gain and set minimum dots to minimize dot loss or hard edges in the print. In this file, using the threshold command, I have identified the lightest highlight and darkest shadow in this image. I have also selected reference points for the quarter tone and three quarter tone. I'll be referencing these points throughout this demonstration. Having run a press characterization with the same set of press conditions and variables that will be used for this job, I identified I have an average gain of 15% from final film negatives to print. To compensate for this gain, I'm going to apply a minus or pullback curve of 15% to my image. I've also identified the minimum dot I can hold on the film negative and maintain through plate making and printing is a 2% dot. To pull back my image, I will open my curves window. I do this by selecting Command M. Notice I am currently affecting all four channels, CMYK. To create different curves for each channel, I can select specific channels by selecting the down arrow or by selecting Command 1, 2, 3, or 4. We are going to apply a generic curve to all four channels. If you remember, as I stated earlier, from my characterization I have determined I am getting a 15% gain on press. To compensate for this gain, I am going to create a pullback curve of 15% by placing a point where the 50% horizontal axis and 35% vertical axis meet. Notice you can also type in the exact measurements. Also take a note of the before and after values that now appear in the info box. Specifically note point number two, where my 2% dot has now gone down to a 1% dot. There are also some areas where there is no black dot printing. Again, as I determined from my press characterization, I cannot hold anything below a 2% dot from my film negative through the plate making and printing process, so I must deal with these potential trouble spots. These spots could end up causing dirty print or hard edges in a continuous tone image. To deal with this, I will set a minimum of a 2% dot in this image by bringing all of my 0 and 1% dots up to a 2% dot, so the continuous tone will print smoothly when on press. Notice how the curve changes as I toggle between the output values of 2 and 0%. As I continue to toggle these values, notice in the info box how the CMYK values for point number 1 change. Now look at point number 2. My 0% goes to a 2% as desired, however my 2% dots become 3% dots. Also note the value changes for points 3 and 4. Though the gain is slight in these values, even a 1% change in the film negative may show up as a drastic change on press. This is especially true for the highlight areas. The difference between a 2 and a 3% dot on press will definitely be noticeable. So we need to somehow find a way to prevent or at least minimize this change to the curve as we set our minimum dot value. To do this, I will set hold points on the original minus curve to maintain the values of these quarter, mid, and three-quarter tone dots. Now, when I change my 0% input to a 2% output, I am not changing the arc of the rest of the curve. If you also notice point number 2 in the info box, my 0% black dot is now a 2% dot, and my 2% dots for cyan, magenta, and yellow are still 2% dots. You may also run your mouse over the other areas within the image to see how the values may have changed. You now know how to create a pullback curve to compensate for dot gain and set your minimum dot values in a continuous tone image.